I, I want to do a follow-up on my last video. Man, am I losing my hair or what? Don't you hate getting old? Ugh, it's the worst. Um, you have to understand something about how the system works. It's a self-revealing system, this, this system that we live in. Uh, it's, it's constantly showing you. It's constantly showing you whether that was the way it was designed or not. It's constantly trying to show you what it's doing. Uh, some might call it coincidence. Some might say, well, this is being done on purpose. They planned it. But it's a self-revealing system. But the fact of the matter is, is you know, in the, in, in the simplest terms, and believe me, when they finally drop all of this on top of you, they're, go they're going to tell you, you know, when people scream out, well, we didn't know, we didn't know, how could you have tricked us, how could you lie to us through the religions, they're going to tell you, you know, for the last 50 or 60 years at least through, the, through electronics and through everything else, we tried to show you, we showed you in movies, we, we showed you in songs, we showed you in things that were subversive and we showed you in things that were not so subversive. But you didn't pay attention. See, you didn't pay attention. All of the movies, all of the songs, they all have meanings, but you never stopped to think. What are these meanings? What are they talking about? You never investigated. And see, they know that, and so it just perpetuates. It's a perpetual emotion that they know that people don't care. And you know, it goes to the point and the fact that people don't care, even to the point that even if they know they're being lied to, as long as you're getting their paycheck, they're happy with that. See, and they learned this a long, long, long time ago. And see, and so when the day does come, uh, the, I don't mean the day of reckoning standing before the Lord. I'm talking about their day of reckoning when they're going to drop drop all the crap on you and open it up and say, here, ta-da, here's your reward. Uh, they're going to tell you, we tried to tell you. We were fair because you know what? That, that organization, that side of whatever you want to call it, still has rules it has to play by and it has to give you the opportunity to see what it's doing see this is why you always see in the movies the devil has to sign a contract because even the bad guys have rules and you know there's no excuse for you just to have said well i didn't know nobody told me they they have been telling you and i'm not a spokesman for them i'm just telling you that you are your biggest enemy you closed your eyes they tried to tell you. They've been trying to tell you. They're telling you now through all the videos you're watching, mine and others, that they are out to fucking kill you. Don't you get it? When will you learn? They are out to kill you. They've been doing it for years. And they're telling you they're doing it. They're telling you in song, in movies. But no, we got to go. We got to watch Star Wars. We got to do Harry Potter. Don't go to the next Harry Potter movie because you're going to see that shit for real, real soon. Excuse my language, but I, you know, I'm so tired of people walking around blind. I'm no smarter than you are. I'm probably dumber. But at least I understand what they're trying to tell me. That, hey, we're running the show here. I understand that Jesus said, I am not the ruler of this world. That Satan is. But you don't see it. See, you don't see it because you don't want to see it. Okay? Wake up. Look at the signs around you, and I don't mean the big ones. Look for the small ones, because the small ones are the ones that are the, are the most telling. You don't get it, do you? You haven't woken up. And by the time that you do, and you still have time, it might not be too late. And you know what? They won't be held accountable in front of God, because the, the ones that are doing this to you will not be held accountable, because you were given a fair opportunity which is your entire life babies and that stuff that's totally separate but you adults and young adults and old adults you've had your entire life to look around and see where the signs are and you have chosen you have chosen to accept evil you have chosen to accept stupidity you have chosen to accept it's not my problem I don't care and now that is going to be the reward that will be heaped on you when they finally close the door because you will be stupid they won't care and it's not their problem start looking at the signs and I don't mean the shit on the news 
and I don't mean the crap that you hear in Scuttlebutt. Do some research. It's right in front of your face. Stop screwing around. It's right there. It's been there the whole time, your whole life. Gee, music is one of the strongest forces. How many times have you sang songs and you don't even know what the fuck it means? But you still sing it. You know, you go to church and you pray to a God with a certain name and you don't even know who he is. You know, you defend a country called Israel and you don't even know who Israel is. Not that they're the problem, but I'm just saying, you have had your whole life. You know what, and this is me too. I'm not exempt from this. I didn't start out as some guy that knew it all. You know, I started out as some young kid. I was 12 years old. I remember Jesus saying something and it caught my interest and, you know, um, and I went from there. But the bottom line is I started out as a Lutheran <laughs> and, uh, you know, it wasn't until after 9-11 or slightly before that where I really got involved, but I started to notice things and, 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 and things went on and on and on. They are giving you the opportunity. Remember Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? You remember Slugsworth? You remember he was the he was the bad guy? Okay? He's the one that came along and said, Hey, here, don't give that ever stopping or everlasting gobstopper back to Willy Wonka. Screw him, give it to me, and I'll pay you. It's kind of the same thing. Except they are they are in your face, they are showing you what their intention is. But for some reason, people don't care. You know, when you're young, you think you're going to live forever. You know, I've always said, and eh, when you're in your 20s, you think you're invincible and you're going to live forever. When you get into your 30s, you still think you're invincible, but you don't think you'll live forever. When you get into your 40s, you know you're not going to live forever and you know you're not invincible. And so when you get into your 50s, you know you're not going to live forever and you just forget it. I don't even want to get involved. You know what I mean? Um, they're telling you. They're telling you to look around. They're telling you on the smallest, infinitesimal level to look around and see who's pulling the strings. Jesus said it in one sentence. I am not the ruler of this world. That only leaves one other guy, but you just say, well, whatever. It doesn't matter to me who's pulling the strings, but it will. Because not only are you going to be judged individually, mankind is being judged right now. That's why those things are able to come upon the people because we let them in here we me and you no matter whether you call yourself a Christian or whatever you've done it and I've done it we invited those things in there was a point in history long long time ago when we that this could have been stopped I don't throw that out upon your head but th this is a perpetual energy that's been forced and it's going right through and guess what there's no stopping it wake up look up and start talking to the Father and start talking to Jesus because you know what? That's your only way out of here. It's our only way out of here. Mine, yours, and everybody else. Okay? Start looking around. The signs are bigger than ever. If you can't read them now, then you truly are lost.